So here what we're going to see is the slab initial and how to, to get started with that and all the way through. So first you're going to want just a piece of paper. Also you'll see a ruler right there and that will come in handy here in just a little bit. Uh, first of all you want to just draw your, your letter, just a, a nice stick letter and mine is an R and so I'll just go in and draw just a nice big R. You probably can't see that so after I draw it with pencil I'll go in and draw it with marker just so you can see it. You don't need to draw it with marker but uh, that's just so you can, can see. Now you want to have between five and eight shapes. They could all be triangles, they could all be squares, whatever you want. But if you have two legs, you can see like an R has two legs or an M, shapes like that. You'll want to take the ruler and the first thing you want to do is just draw a line just straight across. That way when you're all finished and you go to stand up your initial, it will stand up without any problems. Okay. From that point you're just going to start picking uh, shapes that you want to use. Uh, I'll do kind of a, a trapezoid-like shape here. Maybe a tall, kind of inverted or upside down one there. The top on that. Um, let's see. Maybe this way more of a, a parallelogram type. Get a good angle coming up. And you're, and the reason I'm using the ruler is just so that my my lines are straight. And that just means that later on when I do it, when I go to make my my R, my shapes or my edges can be made with just straight slabs and that is often helpful just to keep everything going the way it should. So we'll go, we'll just end that right there. And I don't know if you can see, but some of my shapes are a little bit off. Like they're, they don't line up perfectly. I'll just kind of roughly go around and get these blackened in for you to see. Um, see how even with my lines there I have trouble following them but, but my original lines were pretty straight and the ones I'll be following I'll be following the straight lines and one thing that makes these real interesting are little areas like right here and here where the shapes don't quite line up and, and it just gives it added interest when you're when you're making your pot and now that we have our letter all drawn out and ready to go, we're going to just take a ruler and we're going to cut strips of clay that are two inches thick. And so what I like to do is just start with a straight line. Okay. I just cut a straight line there. And then I'm going to measure two inches in, put a little mark. And then just line up the marks, hold the ruler in place. I cut that. And as long as I'm doing the two inch strips, I just keep going all the way across my slab because I'm going to need them. So I'll make two more marks. And I like to fit as many as I can just so I don't have to wedge more clay and, and go back to doing that again. Okay, so now I have my strips of clay and I'm going to move these out of the way. Just stack them. 
and we'll put our our drawing back down. And you can see uh, what well what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build a two inch wall around the perimeter. If you have an enclosed area, you want to you want to do that first. And to build that wall, you're just going to take your strip of clay and and I like to cut just just a perpendicular line there and then you're just going to set it on I do it just inside of my shape and I look straight down so I line up the knife blade with the line and I just cut straight down okay and then I just keep hold of that and I can turn it and keep them touching that way now it'll hold up its its own uh, it'll support itself so I don't have to worry about scoring it right away I'm going to line up that knife blade again and if I just keep that knife blade lined up with the line my lines are straight and so kind of just makes it a little bit quicker a little faster and still it looks pretty nice okay and so then I'll go across the top line that up on my line Okay, and then I just continue now that I have my inside. I could take the time and score that together. You can add a coil in there if you'd like. And then I just start, I just keep going. And I'll just go all the way around uh, the perimeter. Okay, if I get to here where this is too short, I'll just take that one off. I'll be able to use it uh, probably right there. Oh yeah. So maybe I'll just use that right now. Cut that straight down. And I'll take this one. Just line that up. Make sure it's along the line and it's straight. And you just cut it. And I would I just keep going all the way around. Uh, you don't need to watch me do the whole thing until you get your entire perimeter and your interior done and then we'll move on to the next step. So now you can see all the walls are up. What you need to decide now is whether or not you want your different shapes to be up or down. Okay, They can also be at an angle but what you want is for each shape to be at a different level and it'll help enhance the surface of your initial. So the first thing I do is I look at this at this shape here and I decide I want this one down but I, I still want to keep a wide base so what I'll do is I'll cut it at an angle and I just take my knife and I keep it wide so at the tallest point I'm not going to cut it and I just cut I try to keep it under a quarter of an inch so I don't have to patch any holes like you can see here there's a coil there that patched that hole and so what I do is I just come in and I make a little mark and slowly I don't want to deform my shape at all maybe support it on the other side and after a few passes I can cut that piece off from there I'll just slide the knife over and make kind of a mark on the opposite side where I'm gonna cut okay and here I'll need to trim off a little bit keeping it straight you don't want it to get got a high spot right there you don't want it to get out of out of whack and so there's my mark I'm gonna have it come all the way up there and so just slowly cutting through okay. I can get all my my shapes cut Okay, now you can see that all of the different shapes are at different levels. So I'm ready to put the tops on. And I'm going to score. Well, first I'm going to custom cut each shape. I'll let you see that. And then I'm going to score them down. Now, before I do that, I want to make sure that air can get out through the feet. We'll poke holes in the feet at the end. But I want to just make sure that, that air will be able to go through. And this looks good. It doesn't matter how thin it is, like how thin the gap is, but you just want to make sure that there's a gap there.
Okay, at this point you can see I have all my shapes cut out and they're just ready to be scored on. So I'll just score them on and, and push them down. Then I'll smooth them out and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so here you can see it's all smoothed out and, and finished. Uh, sometimes when you're all done it rocks a little bit. So what you want to do is take it, gently tap it. If you tap it too hard it'll break, but now you can see that it's pretty steady. The last thing The last thing you want to do after it's all fixed is you want to poke a hole in each side just to make sure the air can get out. Next time you see it, it'll be all glazed and fired. And here we can see the finished R. Uh, you can see how, back up a little bit, you can see all those shapes and the different, we'll, we'll go to an, sideways and see how they kind of poke out and I make the R look a little bit more interesting and get nice even coats of glaze and it stands up, it doesn't rock, it looks good.